the channel so today we are recording another video from Altre. I told you ladies and gents that I have almost every new wig that Altre has put out. So the next wig that we have is going to be um, from the same Melted Hairline collection. This color here is a little bit different than this one. Um, so if you haven't caught the review on this one I will definitely make sure I leave it below. This one is the DRFF golden honey the next one that we have is going to be harper and this one here is drff4 hazelnut honey so i wanted to do them back to back so that you could see the colors so they're pretty close the only difference obviously this one is a longer wig um and then it looks like you get some more brown in the back and then the dark root is a little different so this is the stock card that comes along with the wig. Like I said, the melted hairline is pretty much the same. Um, all the wigs are pretty much the same that's in it. You get the HD Lace or Harper. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, and like I said, you get baby hairs and then you get an elastic band and all that. These wigs come in some really, really pretty colors, you guys. If you have not gotten into this collection, what you doing with your life? Why haven't you gotten into it? They are beautiful. The colors are just beautiful. So the lace you get on here is a lot of lace. They give you a lot of lace on all of these. Um, this is the HD lace. So this is how the lace look. It's pretty ghostly. What I ended up doing on this one is I did go in with a little bit of tint. I went in with my um, Evelyn New York tint spray. I'm getting better at using that. So let's go ahead and look at the cap construction on this one. So this here is a right side part. You do get plenty of parting up here in the front to kind of do something with this one. Um, I'm pretty sure you get the same thing here. Let me flip it inside out. And it looks like they give you like maybe a half an inch in the front right here to play with your edges a little bit so that you can make it look natural or make it almost look like maybe a frontal effect. Um, but it is just a parting area. So I do want to put that out there. These wigs come with just a parting area you can't really switch the parting area up it's not a 13 by 4 or 4 by 4 you can kind of switch the wig side to side just a little bit depending on where the part is but this wig is not 13 by 4 but you do get more around the hairline like I said and it just makes it makes it where you can make the hairline more natural um, with it so you get the band the all these are the same you get the band I have noticed that the combs in these in the back are longer I don't know if that's a good thing bad thing or indifferent not sure um, you do get your adjustable straps back here in the back now I will tell you on this one you do get the track going the opposite way so that way if you want to pull it up into I guess an updo or something like that my um, stitching is kind of weird in this one so I don't know if that's for everyone but you see it's kind of coming up in that one um, let me go and see if you can see the dark um, tracks because in this one you could see the track along with it this black looks really good on her so I didn't get it in natural color like I said I wanted to see how these colors look this is just a regular style just an effortless everyday style what I like about this is the color so you do get this little peak of boo of like a blonde in the front and like I said this one here it's supposed to be different but they pretty much they look a lot the same except the golden you get more variations in it okay so that's them right up on one another dark root on this is a little bit different as well this dark root looks like you do get a couple pieces of the um of the blondes in there to then it goes into dark root but this one here looks like it kind of already has that number four and then it goes down into this brownish color and then you get the peekaboos i um, guess of the honey right here so this must be the four and then this must be the hazelnut as i really want to do a voice over here to show you how i was pulling off Roslyn and let you know how to go in i was using a rat tail comb and then you see how seamless it is to take it off they did such a great job with the hairline um so i'm going to clean my edges and get that spray off you guys i'm doing multiple reviews i'm going to use some of this evelyn new york tint spray to go in um i have gotten better at this i'm so excited because i've learned how to use it a little bit better um and then then after I spray it, what I'm going to do is blow dry it. I found that small little technique is good because it goes on and blow dries it in and it doesn't make it wet. Just a look at that. Like, who am I? Who am I right now? I'm like, when I get wet like this, I get so excited because the color is just beautiful. I like the hair texture on this. This is really nice. Okay, let me get my wide comb because I don't want to mess up these curls. Is that parting area? 
what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this back with a um, clamp so we can see the hairline because the hairline on this is gorgeous you guys like outre oh you guys are just this this hairline here is it might be my favorite it may be my favorite better than sensational okay um that's that one and i like them so much because even though it's not like a 13 by 4 they come down and and they hide my edges and i don't have that struggle like i do with a lot of other companies so I did go in and play with the hairline a little bit. What I did was I used some of my um, mousse and I just went in and pushed the hairs back into the parting area. I'm going to use some of my Oxy spray just to get the um, flyaways. You do have a few of them, you know, around the parting area and everything where you cut the lace off and around the edges as well. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just going in with my finger and I'm molding the hair and then pushing it back into the um, wig because I didn't want like, I don't like the hairs to lay on my forehead so much. So that's what I'm doing here. And like I said, I think it came out really good. I am going to go in and put some powder in the parting area. You guys stay tuned um, for my um, pros and cons. So on we all know the hairlines that come on these are just everything. Now, they are not 13 by 4s or 13 by 6s, but you do get a little bit more parting area on the side. You get about half an inch, which is nice because they do give you a pre-plucked hairline. And then you're going to get a nice parting area. Yay! So the color that I have my wig in, today is going to be drff 4 hazel honey so if this is your first time stopping by the channel thank you guys so much for coming and stopping by and clicking the video today and getting the tea on miss harper i do bring videos a couple times a week most of the time three definitely two videos a week i do most of the time do synthetic wigs but we do dab a little bit in human hair wigs we do lashes we do lipsticks we do fashion hauls we do everything beauty over here so if you're looking for a new channel you think you like that stuff go ahead on subscribe to the channel hit the bell hit the drop down hit all and you'll be notified every time i upload so let's go ahead on let me spill the tea to come with miss harper first of all for me yay she is a left side part now usually i like to give you guys pros and cons i'm going to start off with the cons because i want to let you down first and then i want to bring you back up so the first con is going to be she is a little bit flat in the front she's flat and when i say that she's flat that means you don't get that bang that you usually get the bang in the front it's kind of like non-existence i'm oh non-existing i'm okay with that with this one the curls and the volume is to the bottom let me pull all the hair to the front in case i have not done that already so you get this really pretty and i want to say this one is yes hazelnut honey so you get all this hazelnut at the bottom down here um you get it throughout the back and then you get pieces of honey or blonde just on the side just enough to let you know it is there so otherwise you don't get like a bang you can go in and custom make you one like cut one but it's pretty flat up in here and then you get the volume at the bottom and I'm okay with that but I mentioned that for those who like their bang or something like that um the next con on this is probably for some people the wig is not yakky. It is that outre textured hair um, where you feel a little bit of texture when you um, run the comb or brush through it. But otherwise, it's still just like kind of silky, but not too, too silky. Like I said, it's that outre. If you get wigs from outre um, or outre all the time, you know what I'm talking about. It's that texture, but I do like the texture. Um, next thing is going to be, I did get a little bit of tangling with this, and that's just because it's curls. So you go ahead, go ahead on and expect some tangling with this otherwise otherwise everything else to this is going to be pros for me so let's go on and get into pros first pro is going to be the hairline now although i keep saying this on all my all of the reviews that you will have to go in and you will have to cut into the wig or cut into the lace to get it over your ear if you don't know how to do that then you know that may be a con obviously you know i've learned how to finagle that because at first you're always like eh, how do i cut where do i cut um i just usually pull it down if you want you can use a marker or something like that and then i just come by my ear and i cut straight up and then go ahead on and cut over that's been seeming to work for me like i said if you want you can just mark it take it off and cut it that way um so the ear tabs on this is long you will have to glue it down if you push it all the way back if you don't then you can always do like I do the side that you're going to wear spray it down and then the other side I just really don't care because I don't wear my wigs like for long periods of time so it's not like 
I mind if it's not tacked down all the way. Um, this here, you wouldn't be able to see this side, but as you see, you got flapping in the wind. Of course, we don't want that. So if you don't want that and you're going to wear it back, then you would have to glue that piece down. Um, next thing is the hairline. I like the hairline on this. This is how I did it. All I did was just take some mousse and go around the front and just kind of push the hairs back into the wig because I don't really like um, baby hairs, but I wanted the edges to look a little better than they were looking. Next thing on this is going to be the dark root. Dark root on this is really, really nice. I do like the dark root that comes on this. I think that they did a great job with that. Parting area obviously is good. You do see the knots somewhat, but they're not that bad. You know, I did put some powder on it. I feel like it looks okay and it does pass um otherwise that's pretty much all i have to say about this wig the style is just an everyday style like i said i feel like that the front of it is a little bit flat but to remedy that i feel like the way i did it was nice if you want to do a little lift or something you can spray it and you could do a little lift um it is heat safe so if you want you can add curls as you can see i am getting like I said, when you run your fingers, so you do get just a little bit of um, frizz and you also get just a little bit of tangling, but that's because of curls. But then on this side, see you run your hands so you don't. So I think that's just because it has curls in it. This style, again, it's nothing to write home about, but I do like the color of it and I think that it's really cute. It is a little bit long. I think it does come long on me. So I will stand up so you guys can see that. So it comes stretched. Yeah, it stretched. It comes to my bra strap I'm five five um otherwise I think it's a cute little wig I think it could even be an everyday wig you guys let me know what you think about it I think it could be it could go for every day this piece here kind of flipped a whole nother way and did whatever it wanted to do which I'm not sure what party she's at she had her own party because like she just did whatever she wanted to but you guys look at that it's a really pretty so anyway this will complete my review on this one is basically like a show and tell um just so you guys can see the curl pattern that comes on this and then this really pretty color again this color is hazelnut honey i think i like it it definitely screams fall so if you guys decide so if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Return subscribers and YouTube, babes. You know what I'm going to say. Hey, girl. Hey, y'all the real MVPs. I appreciate you guys catching the video today. If you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform, don't forget to tag me in it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok. The name is Beauty Remark. I'll see you ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Bye.